Okay, so so far we've been talking about elastic deformation. Now we're going to talk about something called plastic deformation. Think, well, plastic surgery. It just doesn't look right afterwards. Um, so, plastic deformation. So what happens? Well, we have our initial sets right here, some metal atoms. We apply a fairly large force, a very large force possibly, and we go outside of that linear elastic region. When we do, we reach this nonlinear plastic region. And you see that our atoms are not only stretched, but they're displaced. They're no longer in the same lines that they were before. They have switched planes. There was this shear plane right here. It's a bit hard to see with red, but I'll keep it for now. There's that shear plane right there. And when I release it, they don't go back to the way they were. They just stick in the planes there now. We, those bonds broke and they reformed in a new configuration. What you see from this is that this is now permanently longer than it was before. It's permanently longer than it was before. And that change in length will never go away. Now you, you can process things and squish it back down again. There's, there's things you could do, but by itself, it's not gonna go away. So that'll be our plastic deformation. It's permanent. You don't want that to happen in most cases. Now, like I said earlier, early, the elastic region is that linear region, and the plastic one is this nonlinear region. And then somewhere up here, we're going to reach our max stress. It's the point where it's going to begin to fail, or necking will depend. Necking will happen. Because in this region right here, we're changing in length, yes, but we're doing that uniformly. Every, one, every single one of these atoms, they're all stretching at the same time. However, at some point, it's going to focus in on a very small section, and only that one is going to stretch. While everything else stays more or less the same. That's where things get dangerous, and that's where failure happens. So be on the lookout for that. Now, finding our elastic region is honestly really difficult. So in most cases, we actually allow just a little bit of plastic deformation just to say we found that you know, the end of the elastic region. And interestingly enough, if we, you know, unload, like it's never going to change in length again, but it will actually be stronger. It's going to take all the way up to here before it will begin to be inelastic again, before we'll reach another plastic region. This whole region now becomes elastic after it's been stretched, which is something known as work hardening. It's a way of processing the metal. And most metals are processed that in that way, some way, shape, or form. Okay. That's enough for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.